Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we are going to see how to perform a search operation with Salesforce connector provided by MuleSoft. So basically, Salesforce provide a find clause, a find clause which can be used to search the data in your object, in your Salesforce object. Let's consider, I want to search the name which start with some XYZ value. Right? In that case, you can make use of this find clause to search the data in Salesforce where name start with XYZ or name start with Jitendra or I want all the NT, I want all the rows where the name start with Jitendra. So in that case, you can use the find a clause which is uh, provided by Salesforce to use the find clause in MuleSoft or in any point studio, you have to use a search operation. So you can see use it is used the required find clause of SOS query to specify word or phrase to search for. The search query in includes the literal word, phrases can also include the wildcard logical operator. We will see how we can make use of wildcard and the logical operator in this particular find clause. Okay. The next thing there are you can go through all this documentation and this is how you write the find query. Find you write your search clause here where you have to find it and what you need to return okay so we will see that so so basically if you say you will say like you can do this in like uh, my uh, like uh, salesforce query also yeah you can do that but if you want to work with multiple field if you want to search the data in the multiple fields like you know so basically i want if i found jitendra in any of the field in your in your object right in your salesforce object in any row so it will return that data so this simplify the things that right? this simplify the queries basically if you are writing this as uh, like salesforce query you have to write like lot of conditions but here you can minimize that here lot of it provide lot of keywords you can make use of that even you can like uh, search on multiple objects also using comma so you can like uh, you want to return account contact opportunities and lead so that is how the find clause is very effective so let me go back to my message flow then let me go back to http listener i can drag and drop http listener into my mule palette okay i will configure a http listener even okay i can say plus i will keep all setting as a default settings then i can say search so now my requirement is that i have my account object and i want to search on the basis of name if my account start with account so I, it should return one account if my account start with bajaj it should return two accounts like that you know even you can put the or condition i will show you so first let let me do that and we will pass our search criteria search query in the query parameter this particular data search query in the query parameters okay so i can go back then i can search for salesforce search operation salesforce provide lot of operations salesforce connector it's a one of the widely used connector i can say search then i have to start configuring my connector the first thing i have to provide my username then i have to provide a password so i will not going to disclose the password then finally i have to provide my instance authorization url so basically this is your instance name instance dns this particular part remains same services slash o slash u48 copy this paste it here you can do the test connection but in my case i will not do it i will say okay now i want to use a find i will parameterize a search criteria so i can use this particular syntax colon search query in i can say all fields but i don't want to do that i just want to search in name fields you know if you want if you have more than one field you can say comma separated right so but i want to search in name field returning so returning account i want id 
comma name so this is the query we have to write it but we have to read this particular search parameter so i can define a parameter so my search query is a parameter in this parameter i, I will pass the query in the query params so i can read like uh, attributes dot query params dot query okay so search query attrib attributes dot query params dot query so this is what we have to do then the next step what i can do i can say transform message here i can convert the message into json format because it written the object so i can convert this into json format using transform message then i can say save all so it will redeploy my application so let's wait let me clear the console and let's wait while it's redeploying the application or let me run the application sorry i haven't run the application so i will pause my video till application is getting deployed hello guys welcome back my application has been successfully deployed so basically what we are doing now we we will going to search a name field we will search going to search a data in name field as per query and we will like uh, we will pass this search query using our query parameter and it will return me account id and name so let me go back to my no this particular thing so i can say localhost 8081 slash search query so i can say i want all the name which start with bajaj so i can use the wild card which is star and then i can say enter so it should return me a to record if everything is been configured up properly yeah you can see the to record has been written so name start with bajaj name start with bajaj you know so there are two entry in my salesforce where name start with bajaj now i want dak so my name start with dak like this so i got the data where name start with dak if i put some invalid data let's see what happens it will return me empty array because there is a no data with this particular there is a no entry which start with this particular name now what i want i want either name start with dak or i want either name start with test or global okay or i i will say the name start with tata or name start with dak so what i can do so i can say dak so dak will return one result but i also want name start with tata so i can use or operator i can say tata star so you got both the tata so it is not case sensitive you got tata this tata and like you know all this thing so this is how you can use wildcard as well as the or operator and all this thing if i say i want my name i can use the and operator also let's see what happens so it will return null so you don't have like you know same record which start with dak and tata right so that's why it return uh, empty result set so i can make use of or so it should return to entry so that is how you can make use of find query okay and that is how you can use make use of your find query you know and like a search operation with mule soft if you want to get a more data so basically in search operation you can add more and more field here so it's i will recommend it like you can create this as a more dynamic also so uh, so it is just a example to explain what like what is the find uh, or like find clause provided by salesforce and how can you use a search operation with mule soft to support this particular find clause okay so i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching in next video we will see some complex uh, query using this find clause you know so yeah thank you